to the, the South African movie circuit. In this film, we witness a story of a mother's undying love for his son that results in her finding herself behind bars for his murder. Well, the film features some of the heavyweights and new faces in the industry, such as uh, Ilza Klink, Clint Brink, Russell Savadir, and uh, Kay Smith, to mention just a few. And joining us now for more about the film is its director, Darren Joshua, and uh, Jared Gedald, who plays the role of uh, Ambi Pakis. A very good morning to you, gentlemen. Good Welcome. morning. Darren, I'm going to start with you. What yes. made you and the rest of the, queue, uh, of the crew want us to take us back to 2007 to the Cape Flats uh, when uh, Abby Parkey's mom was jailed for his murder? Um, we thought it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was good timing for a story like this to come out again because if you, I'm sure you follow the news, yeah. uh, in this year, um, the same act happened again in, on the Cape Flats of a mm -hmm. father taking the life of his son and clearly to us, things haven't changed over there. So it was a good time to start this conversation again to, uh, and this is why we made the film. Okay, take us yeah. through uh, its synopsis. What is it about? It's about a mother who was pushed to a point of desperation with a drug-addicted son, um, where she went to she, she she went to all kind of government services to try and get help, um, but they failed her, and she was pushed to the point to strangle him and take his own life. In the end, she um, she only got uh, community service, 280 hours, and uh, she got a suspended sentence, suspended prison sentence, and never spent a day in jail. That was mm -hmm. the unique thing about the story. Mm. Now, Jared, you play the lead actor, uh, uh, Parkis, a very troubled uh, Abby Parkis in this film. Talk to us about your role and what really attracted you to such a role. Well, yeah, I play the role of Abby Parkis and, um, you know, what, 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 what attracted me to the role was uh, the subject matter and um, the subject matter about drugs and addiction on the Cape Flats and also it being a young teenager, you know, from the Cape Flats who um, initially, I mean, there's so many, so many things that... that that, that are so tough for, for, a, for a young teenager in, in, on the Cape Flats. Um, so initially that was, the subject matter is what, what, what drew me towards, you know, wanting to be a part of the film. Um, and then also the story of Alan Pakis, I guess that's, that's genuinely what, what attracted me uh, to want yeah. to be a part of this yeah. film. And for those who don't necessarily know Pakis, who is Pakis? A.B. Pakis, well, A.B. Pakis, yeah. Pakis is a, well, he's just a, a young kid, you know, grew up mm -hmm. in Lavender Hill on the Cape Flats. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, who uh, had big dreams, you know, he, he loved music, loved dancing, loved to be, you know, the joke of the town. Yeah. And uh, a series of, of events kind of uh, made him make some bad decisions and, ended, and made him end up, you know, using drugs. And uh, that's basically what uh, A.B. Pucky was, you know, A.B. Pucky's was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Darren, talk to us about the cast. What is it that you were looking for, uh, particularly because, you know, the, these people will be playing real-life characters? Yeah, so predominantly we were looking for authenticity. Okay. Um, and, and most importantly for the key characters for me was that they, they actually had spent time living in these kind of areas. And that was the key cast with, um, with uh, Jill Levenberg and Jared. They grew up on the Cape Flats. Mm. So that was the key thing. And then obviously on the legal side, there was lawyers and judges and et cetera that okay. we're looking for. So we're just looking for someone that, you know, we couldn't find a lawyer slash actor to play certain roles, right. but we're looking for someone with that essence, that, that eloquence. Uh, yeah. um, or and someone who's so convincing. Yes, and you know, Clint Brink, Ilza Clunk as a judge, those are the people that kind of yeah. um, fit that, that role for us. All yeah. right. Now, Jared, uh, we, we know that Epipakis went through some of the most emotionally draining scenes. Did you perhaps go through some sort of counseling or to mentally prepare yourself for such scenes? Well, uh, I didn't go through any counseling uh, of any sorts. But, um, you know, for me personally, growing up, I, I had some struggles with addiction uh, myself, you know, growing up uh, on the Cape Flats. And mm. so um, I think my experiences with addiction uh, many, many years ago as a teenager myself, um, kind of almost in some weird way prepared me for this role. So I had a very strong understanding of what, what this kid was going through at the time. Um, I spent a couple of years addicted to drugs as well. So mm -hmm. um, I managed to clean myself up and, uh, you know, uh, get my life back on track. So, so, you can, so you can strike a certain resonance. With oh, oh absolutely. So em em emotionally and uh, mentally, I completely understood the world and um, the, the effects of what, what the, the drugs had, you know, on him. So mm -hmm. I was pretty much prepared many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of wanting to be a part of it and, uh, you know, telling, telling his story and his family's story. Yeah. Good move. Good yeah. move, Jared. Now, Darren, this, it feel, this film opens this weekend, right? Tell us more uh, details. Of, yeah, it opens on the 7th of September. Okay. 
um, nationwide, um, predominantly still clinical cinemas and then selected Numetro and some indie cinemas. Yeah. Okay. All right. Gentlemen, thank yeah. you. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. All right. Well, that if you want to go out and watch Ellen, the story fun, Ellen Parkies, the film opens uh, cinemas uh, nationwide on the 7th September, as you've heard. And we thank the director of the movie, Darren Joshua and Jared Khadal, who play one of the leads, Abby Parkies. Let's go for an air break now.